welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be coloring my mom's hair um so yeah stay tuned make sure you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it okay so you're just going to start by sectioning the hair um, into some parts just so you have um, a neat clean slate to work with all right so you're just going to go ahead and continue to section the hair out that way when it's time to color um, you can kind of see where you need to place your color Okay, so we're gonna do like a dark kind of maroonish red on the roots. Um, as you can see, my mom has a lot of grays just towards the root area, but on her ends, she still has all the color. So what I'm doing is I'm just placing the color on all of her new growth. Um, that way it can start soaking into those grays because as we all know, grays are super hard to cover. You sing it, girl. <laughs> So continue to place the color around the hairline, especially um, in the front area, because you want to make sure that it's good and coated. <laughs> that was a memo checking on Daisy. But anyway, so just continue to go through um, the hair to make sure it's all saturated, and then start sectioning it, sectioning it <laughs> to get in between. You know how I know how to call pet dumps. Yeah, well, I love me. Okay, that was my mom teaching me how to call the uh, cat that's living under our house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honey, I have them four, uh, four dogs of good. <laughs> okay, so that was my memo. I don't know why I get so tickled when I put things in slow motion, but I do, and that's just who I am. So anyway, continue to section um, the hair in small sections. That way you are coating all the gray hair um, and getting that new growth extra, extra, extra saturated. Again, with gray hair, you want to make sure um, that you, you are fully um, coating the new growth because if you don't, those grays will pop right back out. So once the front section is done, you're just going to kind of separate it back out and then you're going to go around um, the back section. You're going to make sure all those edges are saturated as well because the big idea is to make sure that the hairline and anywhere that someone may see. So for instance, I don't want to go straight down the middle in the very back and start coloring because no one's ever going to see that hair. So I like to go around the base or whatever you want to call it. Um, anywhere that someone might see. Um, again, just to make sure the grays are fully covered and that I'm not missing anything. And then I'm just gonna go in with the little sections and split it and um, place the hair color on the new growth. And I'm gonna do this on um, the entire back side of mom's head.
Okay, so now that I am finished with the color, I am gonna take a color brush that has a comb on the end of it, and I am just gonna brush out the hair. I'm just kinda dragging that color down just a little um, because the highlights that I'm about to do are not gonna go right on the, um, right on the roots. Okay, so now it is time to part the hair and we're gonna start placing the bleach. I'm using Joyco Bleach and 20 Volume mixed together. I'm gonna place the full and slap that bleach right on. Again, I'm not taking it all the way up to her um, root because I wanna give it the effect of kind of like a little grown out um, where it's more blended. It's not like really harsh lines. That way when it does start growing out, it doesn't look like she needs to get her hair done immediately like normal highlights would. Okay, so I slowed this section down so you all can see. So I just gave that a little comb out. Pull that sleeve up because you got to get ready. <laughs> and then you're gonna take your full end comb and then you're just gonna weave out the hair you want to put the bleach on. Hold that straight up. Wrap that full around the tip of that comb. Place it at the root. And now you're gonna grab your bleach and then slap it on, okay? And you wanna make sure you really get in there because you want all the hairs to be coated with the bleach. Um, that way each piece will um, color evenly. Mm -hmm. Okay, get you a little more. Boop, boop, boop. Get it, honey, 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 honey. Okay, and so once it is fully saturated, you are going to fold this sucker up Boop and boop. Okay, so this is gonna be like the last part of the color that you will actually see, just because I'm about to move to the other side, so I turned the camera off, and of course, I forgot to turn it back on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's totally okay, and you can give it a thumbs down. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Okay, it's Woody Woo, and you can follow me on Facebook at Woody's Beauty Basics. I hope you enjoy. No, no, no.